Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. To everybody out there, I hope you're having a great day. If after watching this video you find you enjoyed it or you learned something, do me a favor and smash the like button. Now, let's get started. So sly and cunning are serial killers that even when one has supposedly confessed to all of his crimes and been put away in prison, Back in 2005, the authorities are still finding trophies under the home where he lived. I'm talking about serial killer Dennis Rader, who has always wanted everybody to call him BTK. I refuse to call him that because why should we allow him to use a moniker of his choice? The Osage County Sheriff Eddie Verdon announced today that investigators have discovered items of interest in a renewed search of the Kansas property formerly owned by Dennis Rader and his family. The cops are saying that they have found, quote, trophies on the property where the Rader home formerly stood. Specifically, items were found under the earth where a shed used to stand in the yard. This is interesting because Raider's daughter, Carrie Rawson, has said that her father told the authorities where to find his trophies back when he confessed, and he led them to an area underneath a cupboard in the hallway. Carrie said that's why the authorities never tore the house apart like they have with Rex Hewerman's house and never dug up the entire property, apparently. Sounds like the authorities in 2005 should have torn up the property. According to an article in the Daily Mail, the search came as a law enforcement hunt for evidence linking Raider, who's now 78, to unsolved missing persons and murder cases. Note that Raider is currently serving 10 consecutive life sentences at the El Dorado Correctional Facility in Kansas. Now, this most recent raid, which took place on Tuesday, was over the disappearance of Cynthia Dawn Kinney, a 16-year-old cheerleader who was last seen in 1976. The detectives are saying they hope the probe will help tie Raider to more unsolved cases. According to the same article, Raider has reportedly refused to cooperate with police, and during a recent meeting, with cold case investigators, he had his belongings seized by prison guards. And Carrie Rawson is saying that she actually visited her father for a total of three hours in June and July of this year to try and get information out of him. She told Fox News that cops swooped in on her old home this week because, quote, the theory is he could have placed evidence of cases under stone pavers under the metal shed he built in the early to mid-90s, like driver's licenses in jars, end quote. So the investigators dug a large hole in the yard where the metal shed used to be. Carrie Rawson is saying that the cops are also looking into the unsolved murder of Shauna Garber, 22 years old, whose remains were found near Pineville, Missouri in December of 1990, but she declined to comment any further on any other cases. Apparently, when Raider was questioned over the disappearance of Shauna Garber, who went missing on Halloween night of 1990, the serial killer said he, quote, enjoyed, end quote, his meeting with investigators. Note that the Raider home was bought by the city in 2007 and torn down. So the only thing they could search was the yard where that metal shed stood. This is such a difficult situation because on the one hand, Dennis Raider is someone who enjoys the public interest. He loves talking about his crimes, the ones that he's confessed to, and he loves talking about himself as BTK. On the other hand, having Carrie Rawson have to go and visit with him and try to get info out of him 
must definitely rip off the scars that have covered the wounds that she's felt since she learned her father was a serial killer. Because Rawson wants to help, she has to put herself in the line of fire and dredge up all these old hurts. But I really give props to her because she really does want to help the authorities and she wants to help find answers to cold cases that her father may be responsible for. Note that Osage County Sheriff Eddie Verdon told Fox News Digital, quote, they did a dig in the area and we did recover some items of interest, end quote. They're not saying what those items of interest are, however. Let me just tell you a little bit more about Cynthia Dawn Kinney, who was last seen on June 23rd of 1976 in Pahoska, Oklahoma. She was seen leaving her aunt and uncle's laundromat about a two-hour drive from where Raider lived at the time. Raider has denied involvement in any cases, aside from the 10 murders he pleaded guilty to after his capture in 2005. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.